Hey there, Eric Gall here. If you've been following along the past couple of weeks with this video uh, series, we've been talking about helping our loved one to have more meaningful days in this pandemic time, right? And in this video, I want to talk about this idea of going from bored to being valued. I'm hearing from a lot of families that, you know, our, their sons and daughters or their brothers and sisters, their loved ones are feeling bored, right? Because a lot of the community things that people with developmental disabilities were doing, I got to duck through these branches here, prior to the pandemic was taken away or has been significantly reduced. So for many people, that's meant more screen time and much more time at home. So what do I mean by kind of going from bored to being valued? Well, I want to talk about contribution. So contribution is really when we're giving back to society, when we're giving back to people. And so often people with developmental disabilities are seen as taking, right? Needing su extra support from others to do things. However, there's an opportunity for our loved ones to be also giving to other people, right? So I want to talk about what that could look like during this time of the pandemic. And if you're familiar with Wolf Wolfensberger and his work um, and some of Susan Thomas's work, this you know, would fall under the realm of having valued social roles. So what would that typically look like? Well, often when I talk to families in, you know, uh, the Plan My Future coaching program and, a, and an Empowering Ability Club, my membership, we're talking about things like employment and we're talking about how do you follow your interest in community and contribute in community. And I think some of those ways that had been normal before um, or might be a little bit challenging to access now. However, you know, I think I just want to start to talk about employment for a minute. Some people have definitely, many people have definitely lost their jobs during this pandemic time frame. But I think there's an opportunity to reach out and, and start to think about what that could look like. Again, if you've been thinking about employment or even kind of considered it or you're like I need to brush up my resume or I need to create a resume or you can tell I'm in Canada by the crunching s snow here uh, under my feet in southern Ontario but thinking about how we can start to engage employment again and in many regions many jurisdictions employment supports come at no cost to to the person and no cost to the family. So I think that's one area we can start to look at how can we start to contribute and move back in that direction, right? Um, the other thing we can look at is maybe being a little bit more entrepreneurial. So what could that look like? Well, it could look like, you know, if I've been in conversations with families where their, their loved one likes being outside and that's a good thing during the, the pandemic. So thinking about, well, maybe they could start up their own little business shoveling driveways or snow blowing driveways for example, if you're in a, a more Northern climate, um, you know, it could look like helping neighbors do yard work, right? Whatever that kind of might fit into a person's skill set and interest. Can we help them be a little bit more entrepreneurial, maybe drop some flyers uh, around the neighborhood offering services, right? So, so there's opportunities that way as well. And then when we think about community, right? Many people have had community taken away because of the pandemic. So how do we think about helping our loved one engage and contribute back in the community? Well, I want to just offer you up a couple of ideas. We can start simply with our neighbors, right? We're coming into, or we maybe we are already in the holiday season. And maybe there's an opportunity to, you know, if somebody's interested in cooking or baking, make some cookies or some sort of holiday type um, treat to share with our, with our 
our neighbors or some other people in our community and show that we care about them and we can contribute to their lives and give back in that way, in a, in a valued way. One of the other things that um, people in Empowering Ability Club have been thinking about and, and working on with their loved one is how can we how can we give back to our community considering the circumstances we're in? And one of the um, ideas and actions that's happening with a couple of families that are actually in smaller communities is they've actually started a clothing drive. And they are collaborating with a couple other people in their community to collect warm clothing for people that um, are in need of that of that warm clothing during these colder months. So um, you might be an opportunity to get involved in something like that, in some sort of clothing drive or food drive. Um, there's m- many food drives that have started up, but to be able to help collect, right, and to be in that valued role in community. And um, I just wanted to offer you those ideas around contribution. It can be as simple as contributing in your neighbor's lives or your greater community's lives or starting to, to again, to think about employment and engaging in employment. And we can always use supports to, to help with these things, right? It doesn't always have to be mom and dad or another family member. So I wanted to give you those ideas let me know if they're helpful. Just scroll down and leave me a note in the comments. Maybe let me know if you have anything that's been helpful or um, you've been working on as well. It's great to share ideas amongst families. So, um, Also, if you're more interested in more ideas around creating a meaningful day during this pandemic time frame, uh, there's three or four videos that I've done over the past couple of weeks as part of this series. So you might want to check those out if you haven't yet. And you can always download my free ultimate guide to independence, which has been really helpful for families to help their loved ones and create more of a contributing role during this pandemic timeframe. So I'm Eric Gall. Together, let's take a step forward.